Man, what's up everybody? You already know who it is. It's White Boy Rick. We back at it again with another video. And in today's video, we're going to be speaking about a Florida man who murdered his girlfriend's two-year-old child by beating him to death because he urinated on the couch. Let's jump into it. Lakeland, Florida. A Florida man is accused of fatally beating a two-year-old boy after the child urinated on a couch. Allegre Demaya Jones, 30, of Winter Haven, was charged with aggravated manslaughter of a child. He was being held without bail at the Polk County Jail. According to the Lakeland Police Department, Jones said he became angry with the boy Thursday night and struck the child several times. Jones admitted to hitting, throwing, and squeezing the boy until the child lost consciousness. Jones, realizing the child was unresponsive, texted the boy's mother instead of calling 911. Jones began texting the woman at 11 p.m. while she was at work. According to police, the woman called Jones via FaceTime after opening the text shortly after midnight on Friday. The woman left work and came home, calling 911 after she arrived. The boy was taken to an area hospital where he was pronounced dead. An autopsy was performed later in the day and the boy's death was ruled a homicide by multiple blunt force trauma injuries. All right, y'all, you know what time it is. Just jump into it. So like I always say, I'm gonna try and keep this one as reasonably timed as possible. I could sit here for an hour and talk about this fucked up situation because there's so many talking points about it. So I'm gonna just do my best to keep it quick and touch on a few specific points. Um, first and foremost, this was not even this man's child, right? This was his girlfriend's child so it's gonna lead me back into the first thing which I've talked about in multiple videos before and it's stop introducing your children to people you don't even fucking know like that I mean it's really not that difficult I see it all the time people are constantly introducing their kids to their new boyfriend or their new girlfriend and I mean come on this is a two-year-old little boy home alone with a man you obviously don't know well enough because he ends up beating your child to death. I mean, that shit is insane. For him to beat the child to death when he was unconscious, he bit the shit out of his arm to try and wake him up. I mean, come on. As parents, we gotta do better because we can't just be putting our kid, our children, in situations that they have no control over and they can't do anything to help themselves. So that's the first point is, I just constantly gotta reiterate it, stop introducing your children to people you don't really know like that. You don't know their true intentions. You don't even really know who they are, what type of person they are. Uh, second of all, as far as him and the mother are concerned, like I know it wasn't his child, but don't be around children or don't have children if you're not ready and willing to accept everything that comes with them. I mean, Come on, of course a child is gonna at some point probably urinate on the couch. It's not the end of the world. That couch was probably, what, a few hundred bucks? It's replaceable, the child is not replaceable. So for you to go to these lengths over something so small like that, I'm sure the child didn't purposely do that. I mean, he's two years old. Come on, so people who aren't ready to have children and ready to take on the full job of being a parent they need to stop just pumping children out they need to stop having kids get fucking fixed get your tubes tied like do something if you have a child and you think you're ready and you realize you're not i mean put the child up for adoption or something like don't just abuse the child it's not their fault that you aren't ready to be a solid parent and another talking point is as I was researching this, I realized the father, the father of the child is destroyed. His heart is broken and I don't blame him. And he's trying to get more charges added on. And I totally understand. I mean, it was his son who got murdered by his baby mama's boyfriend. So... He truly believes it's premeditated because the child had a cut on his liver. How does how does that even happen? So he's pleading the case of 
This was premeditated. First of all, the child is only over there due to court orders, and he made it a point to point out the mom wasn't even really concerned like that. Like, the mom didn't always want the child. So that's an issue as well when it comes into the court and custody and everything. Like, the courts need to do better about how they, how they separate the time with the child to different parents because you can't just give a parent to the mother because she's the mother. What if she doesn't? I mean, obviously, she's not as concerned as she needs to be. She put her child's life in another man's hands. And imagine how the dad feels like, that's, a, that's your two-year-old son constantly being around another male, first of all. And then this happens. So my heart goes out to the father, especially, because imagine what he's going through right now. And he is pressing the issue to try and get it out there. Like, this wasn't an accident. He, That man purposely beat this child to death. He believes it was premeditated. There was bruises all over his body. I mean, everything about it is sketchy. And my heart just goes out to the father, because again, he didn't opt in to having this child near a stranger. He didn't. The baby mother did. And the reason she was able to make those choices is because the courts gave her more custody. And at this point, I'd be willing to bet that that father is the one who truly deserved the full custody. But it just doesn't always go like that. And unfortunately, because there's a lot of men who aren't ready to take care of the kid and women who aren't ready to take care of the kid, but the courts need to do a better job of really investigating these situations to make sure the child gets put in the best care possible, whether it's the mother or the father. We need to fix something so shit like this stops happening. So again, to wrap it up, stop introducing your children to any fucking buddy you know. Make sure you really genuinely truly know these people and their intentions and how they are with children because how people act with adults is different than how they act with children. So make sure you know the people you're introducing your kids to. And the courts need to do better as far as the, the custody battles that go on. They need to really genuinely dive deep into each custody battle and make sure that they're making the best decision possible. And lastly, stop having children or being near children if you're not ready for what comes with them. But hey, let me know in the comment section if you agree or disagree, if you think they should be facing more charges or less charges, if you think the father is right in how he feels, or do you think he's wrong? Do you think it is what it is, or do you think it was premeditated? Do you think the mother is in the wrong at all? Let me know in the comment section how you feel about this one. But hey, I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Make sure you turn the notification bell on so you can see it first. If you want to support the channel, make sure you click the links in the description below. Also, make sure you share the video to everybody you know. We almost at 100 subscribers, and when I reach 100 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a raffle giveaway to give back to y'all for supporting me. But as always, it's white boy Rick. Till next time.